OK. I'll let the fun times commence. So Nordic Track Commercial X22i, it's upside down. You could probably guess that it's because the incline doesn't work, because the incline always breaks on these things, which, I mean, look how small it is compared to what it's actually lifting. Not to mention people run on it. In this case, let's see here. Looks like it froze. Come on, focus, there we go. So it froze right about there, so it's at an incline of about five degrees. Um, and when you go to do the incline calibration, it goes up about a half inch, down about a half inch, up about a half inch, down about a half inch, and then says it's failed. Or not failed, says it's complete, which obviously it's not. So I've already taken the clamshell apart here. I'm going to try to make a quick video about how to fix it because there's about a thousand people online that look like they have um, issues with this and it takes like four to six weeks to apparently get this part from Nordic Track and God only knows how much it costs. Um, so I've already taken the clamshell apart, I have to remove that bolt there, the bolt down there, but first I'm going to have to brace, brace it with some wood. So I'll come back then. Okay, the incline is removed. Honestly, wasn't too too bad. You can see there's a uh, a four x four right there holding it up, and a four x four right there holding it up that holds up the frame. Frame down here. Um, this is the bolt from here. Looks like there's a little bit of wear on it. Um, and the wear is on the outside. Of course it won't focus. There we go. The wear is on the outside. So it's wearing on here, which kind of makes sense. These are really small and it's pushing on it pretty hard. Um, the bolt from up here actually looks in good shape. It's a little bit of wear. You can feel it's a little rough because obviously these are probably way too small um, for the weight that it's holding. Um, but it's out. And then also the power cables for the motor on here are a much larger gauge and you can feel they're solid core copper. And then you look at the cable here and <laughs> they're like itty bitty, itty bitty little things. Um, so. I don't know what kind of current it's drawing, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that has something to do with it. So, all right, I'm gonna take this sucker apart and see what's wrong with it. Hey, look what she does. She inclines again. She lives. So I'm running calibration, so it should go up to 40 degrees. It went all the way down to negative 10, 5, 10, whatever it is. Um, and then, so now it should come back down to zero. Like I said before, it was going up about a half inch, going down about a half inch, and then, uh, that was it. It was like, calibration finished. Everything is good. And you're like, no, it's not. You didn't go anywhere. So, uh, in order to track. Okay, it looks like it's done. Um, so, uh, I, I made a separate video about actually disassembling the, nor the uh, uh, incline motor and gearing assembly and everything. Um, I'm not going to include it in this video because I didn't do anything. Um, I just took it apart, put it back together, slapped some more grease on it. Um, and now it, it, it seems to be working again. 
Um, so I'm guessing the gears were just bound up and it just needed to be pulled apart and put back together. Um, so anyways, there you go. Uh, so it's, save yourself, uh, I don't know, what, $400 or whatever the heck the incline thing costs from Nordic Track. Flip your treadmill over, take it off, take it apart, put it back together, and voila, it works. <laughs> uh, I gotta love it. All right, see you next time.